This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord does make. Uh, we just wish to apologize, and especially for those who will be watching us on YouTube, uh, for all those we have at the back because of the construction going on at our church this morning. And we begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Francis and Saviour Cabrini, who died as a virgin, who was a religious sister, and the founder of one of the religious sisters in this and the U.S., and she is the first uh, canonized saint as a citizen of the United States of America. And every time we celebrate the memorial or the feast of the saints, they remind us whether you are a child or adult that we have been called to the same life of being a saint. And to be a saint is to be a good person, listening to our God and listening to all our parents and our teachers and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, 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 Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy. Mercy, mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, mercy, mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to save the immigrants of America by our example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and all those in need. And by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all men and women we meet. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. John. I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, 
but the one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. For this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh, such as the deceitful one and the antichrist. Look to yourself that you do not lose what we worked for, but may receive full recompense. Anyone is, who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are, are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Stand erect and raise your head because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building on the day when Lot left Sodom. Fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, 
where the body is, there also the vouchers will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. We have heard something very good in the word of God today in the letter, second letter of St. John, where he said he rejoiced to hear that people were walking in truth and he was happy that people were walking in the commandment of love one another. I think that is what matters most in our lives as Christians, to live in truth, the truth of God, and above all, to live in the love of one another. The love of one another makes us feel that we are brothers and sisters. And what we have heard in the gospel Jesus is reminding us that sometimes we love so much the things of this world. We are so much attached to things, material things. Everything that God has created or created is good for us. But sometimes we tend them to be like our gods. We tend to like money, clothes, and all kinds of things. And maybe sometimes we even forget the giver of all those blessings that we have. So Christ is reminding us that even if we attach ourselves to these things, one day they will remain behind. So that's why it is important to live in truth and to live in love of one another. Because love for one another is beyond anything in this world material world because love will make us to be close to one another than the things of this world. Love will make us to take care of one another. Uh, even the children in the classrooms, when you love one another, you care for one another, you help one another, then you are doing something good for God. So when we try maybe to fight, that's not good for God. Christ is telling us, like St. John in his letter, love one another. That is the message for us all. And especially in this world where we are seeing so much hatred, so much divisions, that we need to pray. Even in your prayers as little children, you have to pray for love in the country, the love in families, the love in our school, and the love in our parish and also in your own churches and communities. Love is above anything material in this world. St. John in his writing places great emphasis on Jesus' commandment, love one another. To our Lord Jesus Christ we present our prayers and petitions. May the commandment to love not be seen as a burden, but as the key to our true freedom of spirit and actions of mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord May we keep within us the teachings of Christ and strive to live good lives for the welfare of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the faith of Christians may always be strong in times of want and of plenty, in times of freedom and of persecution, we pray to the Lord. May our parishes and communities deeply affected by the COVID-19 pandemic emerge with optimism and enthusiasm as together we reshape our local church of the Diocese of Charleston. We pray to the Lord. May this, may this month of all the faithful departed help us to hold our departed our parish families, communities, and family members in thanksgiving as we entrust them to God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. That through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, 
the world would, would not turn its back on refugees, migrants, and asylum seekers, but find a way to help them live in freedom with all their basic needs provided for and their rights restored. We pray to the Lord. Lord, may we find joy in doing your will, and in the midst of life's difficulties, seek you with all our hearts through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of my hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in commemoration of the Holy Virgin, St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, we bring you these offerings and prayers. Grant, we ask, that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our due service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrate themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When, when we, we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O oh Lord Until you come Until you come Until you come again When we eat this bread And drink this cup we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may present glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God as our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
always have to be a sanctuary for the Lord that we can be used as his instruments. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, our God, that by the example of the blessed Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini, bearing in our body and death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ, the Mass is ended. We end this Mass by singing, I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back. No turning back. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, Still I will follow, though no one join me, still I will follow, no turning back.